Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, ticket symbol AMC and Ape. Now, in today's video, we are going to be looking at how over 6 billion shares of AMC is actually owed to retail. And pretty much, this is the reported short positions of AMC. We're also going to be looking at how the short volume percentage also indicates that as well and many more in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end. As always, we're going to start off with the chart for AMC and Ape today. Now, straight away, looking at AMC today, we are down 7.65%. We made a new low coming in at 505 and we closed at 519. Do bear in mind that pretty much today, the overall market was, of course, bad. We have the spy down 2.02%. And so there was just selling in the market. Now, this is something we talked about in terms of when the overall market goes down for now, we're also going to be seeing AMC go down. Now, one of the questions that you may ask is, of course, if it's owned by retail who don't care about the overall market, why is it going down? And we have discussed this and essentially what this is, is the short start of shorting AMC use their long positions in other stocks as collaterals to leverage their short positions against AMC. And so when you do see their long positions actually going down, they need to, of course, bring down AMC as well to match their collaterals with the long position. Of course, that is just one of the many things, but that is something that we have talked about. Now, looking at the price action of AMC, we did close, you know, in terms of above that previous low at 517. But like I said, we did make a new low. Now, RSI, you know, everything right now is looking like we are, of course, dropping lower. But do bear in mind the last time we had a drop like this, you know, we also made a low and then we bounced back very good percentage. And this is the similar situation. Now, there is many things right now which shows and is indicating why we're dropping this much. But of course, guys, the game has always been kind of the long term game. And so really for me, there is nothing to be worrying about. And looking at technical analysis, you know, essentially it's just going to be finding support. And so far it's looking like we may be finding a rough, you know, bias coming in at this area. But essentially we have very strong bias right now. And if we do get a bounce, it will just be a similar movement to before and maybe even higher. If we take a look at Ape, and so for Ape, we have discussed this many times. Now Ape, like we said, if we don't hold 148 and 154, we are going to be seeing that drop. And so we are, of course, in a similar situation where Ape is down 18.75% and closing at 1.3. But there is many things with Ape that we have talked about. Firstly, with Ape, hedge funds want to bring the price of Ape down more than ANC, hence why you're seeing a bigger percentage drop with Ape than you are AMC. The reason for this is because they need to buy Ape with the Ape offering. Now, we have already discussed how Adam Aram has, of course, sold Ape shares at around a price of 2.44 to 2.46 per Ape share. And that is because the price of Ape was just at a low point. And even if they are trying to offer a high premium, you really can't offer it that much if the price of Ape is 149. You know, you can't just get away with saying $5 per share. And the hedge funds know that as well, hence why they're bringing down the price. The lower the price of Ape goes, the lower that, of course, they have to pay for the premiums of Ape as well. For example, if the price was, for example, at 182 and Adam Aaron was able to offer it at 240, then because the price is now at 130, maybe they, Adam Aaron can only offer the Ape shares at $2 or even $1.90, right? And that is essentially why hedge funds want to bring it down. And of course, that's why we're seeing more pressure coming in for Ape. Now, if we take a look, and essentially it's from Froggy Styles, and he's someone that we've pretty much have looked at because his indicator has been proven to be correct. And most of the time it is with, we talked about, you know, understanding what is happening. Essentially, it talks about 6 billion shares owed to retail. So yes, 11 times the float owned by retail. And essentially it's just the indicator, of course, um, showing the amount of shares. Now, we have talked about what this indicator is. This indicator essentially pretty much adds up the existing short positions along with the reported short positions opened and the reported short positions closed. And so far it has added up to 6 billion shares. So right now what it's saying is that there's 6 billion shares of AMC shorts in the market. And so that is of course a massive thing. Like you guys can see, the price and the indicator, essentially, it's showing that the positions are just increasing and increasing. Now, do bear in mind that we have talked about this. If they are not worried about AMC, if they are not, of course, thinking that there is potential of squeeze, they don't think there's a potential of AMC going up, the amount of shares shorted on AMC will not increase. But it's because they know that the moment they relax and they ease off shorting on AMC, making more shares for AMC to short, 
that it will bounce back on them and it will actually make them have margin calls. And that's why we are, of course, seeing the pressure right now. And essentially, it's just a tug of war to see who folds first. In my opinion, I think it's just a pretty much where hedge funds will try and push it down to a price where people will actually start selling potentially. And because of that, then they've won it or they'll make it so that they make so much shares that eventually they just can't anymore and it will bounce back on them. And it's just a tug of war. It's just a matter of who, again, like is, like in the statement, who has diamond hands and who has paper hands. And so that's, again, my opinion. Like I said, none of this is ever financial advice. So do take what I say with grain of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. If we take a look at the next thing, and this is essentially with the um, reported traded volume. And firstly, we have 69% short volume for AMC. If we go down and come in, and so basically this guy actually um, used a, a chart and added everything up. The total reported short volume was actually at 71.52%. So you can see the amount of short pressure that is coming in right now. The buy pressure stolen is around $94 million worth of buy pressure stolen. So essentially what this is, is firstly, it correlates with the fact that the short positions are just increasing and increasing day by day because the hedge fund needs to bring it down. Hence why we're also seeing the drop in price of AMC and of course Ape. But not only that, despite the fact that people are optimistic and bullish on AMC and when they do buy into it, this is what we talked about here in terms of the buy pressure stolen. And that's why originally when Ape was sold, you could actually see the buy price coming in because there was actually buy pressure being created. And so, you know, what we can gather from this is that it's just a show of understanding that hedge funds are worried about AMC shares, hence why we are seeing a 71% short volume. We are seeing 6 billion shares of AMC kind of um, synthetics being created. And we're also seeing just the amount of buy pressure being stolen because they know that even if they let buy pressure get in, it will still show a very bullish momentum for AMC. And so this is what we're having in the market right now. And this is why I'm closer to believe that every day, the amount, the more shares that they create, the more pressure that they put will just increase the floor price of the AMC squeeze and it will increase their leverage and the collaterals to the point where they can no longer handle it. They will lose money and they will start having to cover the shares, of course, under the theory that no one covers from AMC in terms of the retail investors. But like I said, it's only my opinion. And now if we take a look at in terms of what DRS does, like I said, guys, this video isn't to tell you whether to DRS or to not DRS, but what you guys would want to know maybe is what DRS actually does. So essentially what it is, is a market set maker sells phantom shares to broker. The broker then sells the phantom share to you. Broker loans your phantom shares to short seller. You DRS your share. Broker is now forced to recall your share that they loaned. And then short seller forced close and broker forced to DRS. And again, just to make it a, an example of this is firstly the market maker, wherever it, firm you want it to make it be, they sell a phantom share to the broker because you are buying from the broker. Us retail investors are buying from the broker. So when we buy it from the broker, we're actually buying a phantom share that was created by the market maker, right? Not only that, the broker then without, sometimes with your permission, sometimes without your permission, then loans your share back to whether it's the market maker or the short seller so that they can then short onto AMC. So even though you actually own AMC, if for some firms, for some brokerages, there are actually options where you can turn it off. For some, um, it's not turned off automatically that you actually loan your shares. But so by DRSing your share that they are forced to recall it and then the short sellers are forced to close because of the fact that they have to recall your share so they, then can, they can no longer lend it. And then they are also forced to DRS. And so that's what DRSing is. Now, of course, this isn't, like I said, the golden solution. I'm not bashing DRS. I think personally that DRS could be a major thing. You know, again, I always want to give my unbiased opinion. All I'm saying is that just because you DRS your share doesn't mean the squeezes happen. But also, I want to also highlight what DRS can do for AMC shares as well. And now taking a look at this two bits. And so I want to talk about this two bits first and now I want to talk about my own opinion. So first is my two bits regarding Ape offering selling 14 million shares for an average of 2.46 or whatever. Still an illusion. They are auto short on Ape from previous X dividend. Before Ape, we traded 21 billion shares in 2021 and about 7 billion AMC shares before the dividend. Short are still screwed. OBC and CDB shows dollar. So 
Again, what he's saying is that no matter how many apes we sold right now, it doesn't really mean anything. Personally, for me, I think it does mean something. Firstly, if we take a look at ape, we can first see that when ape was sold in, we saw buy pressure, meaning that we actually created real buying pressure for once. Not only that, we are able to raise money by selling ape shares, which just puts AMC into a good fundamental position. And again, just the fact that, like they said, there is just dollars coming in into AMC and Ape regardless. And so all is good. And so personally, I think that the Ape dilution is actually still a good thing. And anyway, guys, comment down below what you guys think. I am very curious. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.